What's up YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here, and today's video is about a new bit of kit that I'm using, specifically the DJI Osmo 6 mobile gimbal. Now why did I need a new gimbal? Well because my old one, which was a relatively cheap one I'll be honest, self barbecued its motors. So I decided I'd get something better to upgrade it with and I chose the DJI Osmo 6 Mobile. Now I did look at several videos before I dove into getting this gimbal and a lot of them were actually pretty good reviews with one glaring flaw in most of them which is they stated you could get the DJI Mimo app for this gimbal on the Google Play Store and on the iOS market, whatever the app store's called, I think it's just called the app store on iOS. That is incorrect, at least for Android. Now, if you want to use the DJI Osmo 6 on Android to its full capabilities, you will need to go to DJI's own website and directly download the APK file for the MIMO app. Now I've done that and I'm using the MIMO app recording this now which is why I've got tracking on. Without the app this is a pretty basic gimbal just like some others on the market although with better controls. With the app however you unlock tracking and several modes such as inverted mode you are able to zoom in and out on your camera while you when you've got the app as well as adjust the focus you are also able to edit your videos within the app and if you so wish share them with the DJI community now I also have a DJI drone I have the RC version of the the uh, Mini 3 Pro. I have the Mini 3 Pro RC which is the one with its own self-contained control so I don't have to worry about backloading the DJI Fly app. It's all self-contained within the controller and the drone itself. Now having had to backload the DJI Mimo app I can say it does start off a little bit buggy but once you've let it run for a while and logged into your DJI account, it runs a lot smoother. Now, you don't need to log into your DJI account if you don't want to, but bear in mind if you want the Mimo app to work properly when you're not logged into your DJI account, you'll have to wait a while for it to kind of stabilize because like I said, you are backloading the app. <laughs> anyway, I think this video's gone on for long enough. So as usual, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other.